Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? I'm Mariah and today we're going to be painting this Twelve inch triangle canvas. So let's get into it. So this canvas is something new for me. I've never painted a triangle canvas before, so I'm really excited. Each side is 12 inches long. It's a little bit smaller than I expected, but obviously it's not a square or a circle, so the area is a little bit smaller, but I'm really excited to use my new um, split cups on this canvas. So today I'm going to be using four colors, and I'll be using this four slot and I'll be using this four slot split cup. That's a tongue twister. So I'll be using these different greens. I wanna do a dark blue, forest green, lime, neon green, and lime green. my third time using these split cups and the first two times I didn't love the way that my paintings came out. The first one actually ended up fine and it sold and the person loves it so I guess that's a win. The second one I haven't done anything with. I probably will use it to draw on top of and create something new because it just kind of turned out very plain. So yeah this one is my third attempt and uh, we'll see how this one comes out. All right, got my gloves on, got my paint in the cup. I'm nervous, but let's just start pouring. Okay, well, I didn't expect to do that pattern, but you guys know me. I just kind of, in the moment, do whatever feels right, and that felt right. So let's tilt it out and see how it looks. Oh, first I need to torch. I've actually been out of the studio for like probably a week and a half, so I'm really rusty. I need to mix up paint. I need to get back in the groove. I almost forgot to torch the piece. I gotta get back in the swing of things. Wow, okay, so I forgot to mention, all of those colors are flat except for the lime green, which is um, metallic, so I really love the way that the metallic is interacting with the other colors. <clears throat> It's kind of a tricky shape to to tilt because you know of course I don't want to lose too much over the sides but you got to get the corners I love it I love it part of the reason that I chose these colors was to be honest I was basically out of this forest green there was only a little bit left so when I'm down to the end I just want to use it up and then go make more I don't know that's just how my brain works so I was like okay what colors go with that dark green of course blue and other greens but green is personally not one of my favorite colors so I'm not always drawn to use green but honestly this with the metallic lime I love it of course we'll have to see it dry but uh, I am pleasantly surprised so far I need to touch up these edges and then we will see how it looks okay 
I touched up the edges. I'm gonna give it one last torch and then I will bring my phone down and zoom in so that you guys can see the close-ups. Okay, before I bring down my phone, I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone who watches my videos, follows me on Instagram, uh, buys my pieces, all of that stuff. It really makes me so happy and it helps me afford to keep painting and keep doing what I love. So thank you very much for believing in me and for enjoying my artwork. All right, I'll bring down the phone. I'll also insert a video and or a photo of this piece dry. And yeah, that's it. Please like, please subscribe, please comment below on this video what you think, and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, so this is the painting wet. I just finished making it, but I wanted to give you some close-ups of the details. You can see the cells forming. Um, that yellow looking color is actually metallic lime green so this baby is going to shine i can't wait to see what she looks like dry i already love her hopefully she looks just as good dry as she does wet we will have to see but thank you again for watching please let me know what you think of the dried result and i will see you next week in my next video on sunday bye